Alright, so I'm actually going to do the last rest of it for today and then I'm off. And, um, I have to say, uh, this last rest of it is regarding my retirement by Corey X. Kenshin. So, Corey X. Kenshin is back once again and right after he hits one million thousand dollars well not dollars but subscribers <laughs> and well one minute one million or ten million zillion trillions you know ten ten million subscribers I I I messed it up and um I have to say it seems like it feel like he I feel like he's gonna come back. I just know it because I know about Corey S. Kinson for a very long time, ever since, um, I believe, 2014, I believe, or 15, and, um, I have to say, um, every, every since day and day and now, because, I just feel like I really, really miss Corey S. Kitson. And I'm glad I hit 10 million su subscribers. And I have to say, man, that's my only goal as well, man. Because um, due to the fact that when I wanted to reach, like, one, like, my first time reaching... 1,000 subscribers. I mean, it's gonna be my first time, man. Cause um, after all this time at YouTube, I just feel like <sighs> like I wanted to keep going, but I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to reach 1,000 subscribers. And I'm very scared. I'm really scared about it. Because. I just hope. I will reach it that far. And I hope that would happen. So. So yeah. But um. Let's take a look at it. In. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> you know that phrase, there's an elephant in the room? It's like 12 elephants. I'll start with <laughs> what might be the biggest elephant in the room. The samurai hit 10 million! Samurai hit 10 million subscribers. Oh, okay. Last video I uploaded was celebration of 9 million, saying all this stuff. Well, we got so many memories to make. Uh, we still got time. And then I never uploaded another video. Oh! Is this not serious? Um... I got a package from YouTube that I've been waiting for before I wanted to do this video. Corey, go ahead, give me a little sneak peek. But before all of that, before I do something, I open a package which I don't even deserve. I wanted to speak with you all candidly about my whereabouts and um, some, I guess, my retirement. Now strap in, got a lot to talk about. Your boy hair change, a lot of changes. Tired of walking around with the nappy afro. We done with that, all right? I'm old. <laughs> Yo, it feels good. It feels good sitting in front of the camera. I always feel like, man, it's about to be so awkward, but it's like I sit down and I, I never miss the beat. Some of my family members got COVID. Um, now this happened like months ago. My grandma got COVID. It was very, very bad. Not only my grandma, my aunts, my cousins. I actually made a video a couple months ago that I'm very glad that I didn't upload because it was super depressing. Oh. 
I'm just gonna use this video to get my feelings out, um, vent to the camera. Sort of like the old 2015, 2016 YouTube days. All it was was yeah, I was talking about COVID. I was talking about my family. I was gonna upload it because I'm like, at least it'll tell them where I'm at. But the video was so depressing. I'm like, someone's gonna watch this video and then their day is gonna get worse. And I never want that to happen. So I never uploaded that video. Fast forward like another month, I hit 10 million subscribers. Now my cousin, was the first one to let me know because um, I wasn't checking. Last time I saw, I was like at 9.6 million and I was like, oh shoot, I'm getting close. I need to prepare something. I need to have something ready because this is a moment in the making, years in the making. And before I knew it, my cousin called me so excited about how I hit it. Like a moment that I was dreaming about is finally here and my grandmother is in the hospital about to pass away there's such a minuscule amount of youtubers that ever reach 10 million and here i was one of the chosen few sitting here in my car that's where i was i didn't want to go on social media and i i really despise going on social media when i'm not working because there's a lot of people asking where I'm at, conspiracy videos. Where's Corey Kenshin? I hate those videos. I hate them so much. Mike has sent this to Corey's Kenshin YT, which is Corey's Kenshin's Gmail. And surprisingly, Corey's Kenshin did respond to Mike. No, I didn't respond to your email, Mike. And some of y'all suckers actually believed it. Videos got like 400k views because of a fake email. He spelled August wrong. There's no E in August. Don't believe any other YouTubers talking about, I know when Corey Kenshin is coming back. They don't know when I'm coming back. Because I don't know when I'm coming back. You wait for the That's the problem, because a lot of YouTube channels letting them know about what's been going on with Corey S. Kenshin. And Corey S. Kenshin wasn't really even there if just like 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 for like a week or a month or probably a year because I know for a fact that um Corey S. Kinson has, has been taking a lot of the breaks for quite some time and now the YouTube are accusing of Corey S. Kinson and said he's not gonna retire blah 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 all that I mean, come on. I understand why y'all don't like Corey A. Skinson because y'all was, I think y'all was jealous of, you know, him reaching 10 million subscribers. I was about to say 1 million subscribers. I almost messed that up, so sorry. Um, you know, reaching 10 million subscribers. And you know, thought he was better. No, he he's not better than the other. You know, for um, just other YouTube channels like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, or probably PewDiePie as well. He Corey is kissing being himself as you know just play the game or probably the reactions from. Or do like a try not to laugh or don't take talk, which is very hilarious. And I have to say, I did the same thing. You know, just me play a game or just do a whole lot of reaction videos for like, why like a year? And it's like a journey. It's like a journey for racing more views and subscribers and um it's kind of it's kind of like you know it's kind of stress out well it's kind of stress because you have to work very hardly to like reach any, any subscribers you need to reach like 1000 or 100 100 subscribers or probably you know 
one million subscribers I mean yeah it's kind of hard to get to that long ass journey to reach for that and now a lot of people accuse him of Corey S. Kinson for thinking that he had a, he had a fake email or, or, or um, thought that Corey is lying or something like that. I mean, come on now. Don't you know that Corey S. Kinson was wasn't there for like for like a month? I mean, it's okay to take a break for like a month or week or probably a day because um, I know you have been having some very stressful times. And I have to say because um, it doesn't matter whether you take a break or not. You still need to like save up your energy like I did. Well, if I did save up my energies. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, man, don't accuse, um, Corey S. Kinson like that. And to your email, Mike. The semi suckers actually believed it. Video's got like 400k views because of a fake email. He spelled August wrong. There's no E in August. <laughs> Don't believe no any e. other YouTubers no e talking about, I know when Corey Kenshin is coming back. They don't know when I'm coming back. Exactly. Because I don't know when I'm coming back. You wait for the source. I am the source. Even a freaking video talking about, I worship the devil because I had a red T-shirt on. Your boy, Curry Kitchen. Curry Kitchen. You know, obviously he has a Coca-Cola shirt on, right? And if y'all remember my video, I explain, you know, how satanic that symbol is. Worship the devil! You gotta be kidding me. Worship the devil because he was wearing the Coca-Cola hoodie or t-shirts, I forgot. That's stupid. Like, people wear red shirts. I wear a red shirt all the time. Don't that make me a devil? No. It. I wear it because, you know, it's my favorite color. Or maybe they, or maybe they think, you know. I don't know. Probably, probably something like. Name guy. I don't know. Cause. A lot of people wear it, like, think of it that if they have red shoes, would they go to church with the red shoes? Think that they're devil? No, they don't. They don't think that's, don't, they don't think as a devil. They wear red shoes or tuxedos or probably at the red, or probably go to the, probably at the red for prom, I believe. Everybody wear red red shirts at the same time. You can't just say that you're a devil just because you have wearing a red shirt. That's just stupid. That's just really stupid. I mean, look, what's wrong with that? And what the and what the heck and what the heck um I don't know saying Curry Kitchen. <laughs> I don't a freaking I don't know. video talking about I worship the devil because. I had a red T-shirt on. Your boy, oh, yeah, red Curry Kitchen. Curry Kitchen. <clears throat> you know, obviously wow. he has a Coca-Cola shirt on, right? And if y'all remember my video, I explain, you know, how satanic that symbol is. Worship the devil. Those people that believed it. And and they believe in all, all the breaks that I've taken. Uh, I gotta hand it to you. First of all, the Samurai is probably the most diehard loyal community on this Including website. Me, of course. Because um, I don't know no other YouTubers that can leave and come back the way that I do for as long as I do. And to gain a million subscribers while I'm gone. Probably like PewDiePie's, you know. Yeah. Eating, you know. <laughs> but like, besides that, I don't know. So I got to hand it to you. Um, 
But what I've done is create a divide in my subscriber base, in my community. You know, we got the people that, no matter what, die hard. Don't, Don't talk, talk about, about the Shogun, shogun like that. that. Oh, come, come to your house. house. And then we got the people <laughs> that have seen the fall from glory, the fall from grace. Um, I was here when Corey was really about this YouTube stuff. I saw the effort that this man actually will put in. I saw the work and the the talent and the charisma and the essence of what that man used to be. Now, sure, you know, I've come back from breaks and I've dropped bangers, obviously, but <laughs> I've never resumed the the magic. Magic, magic is simply the byproduct of doing something that you love to do unconditionally. For example, for me, that's video games. When you're doing something that you love to do, doing something that no one has to tell you to do, something that you're, you don't feel forced to do, you reach this almost zen-like state of kind of like ultra instinct. You're just moving autonomously. The magic has been gone. And I think I realized that a while ago, which is why at 7 million subscribers, I made the dumb idea of, or I had the dumb idea of announcing that I was going to retire at 10 million. I say it's dumb because all that it, that that really did, I feel, was put a lot of panic in my community. Um, I feel like it kind of made it happen faster, if that makes sense. And um, there was really no... I mean, I thought about it at that point, but I should have thought about it even more. And if I did, I would have come to the conclusion. You probably don't want to say anything until you make, until it's happening, you know? And and then I wrestle like, well, you don't want to surprise people like that, but I don't know. I just feel like it, it created a lot of panic. And, and um, if I could redo that, I wouldn't have announced my retirement at 7 million. But that is the next biggest elephant in the room. I told you guys that I had other stuff that I wanted to do with my life, you know, go back to school and, um... You know what? That's the same thing, man, because, um, whether, whether or not, I've been struggling and panicked on it every single time, man, because, um... Like, if I would have pro wrestling that long, because, um, you know, whether I get injured or something, well... Probably, probably for the injuries. Um, let's just say they want to force me to retire, and I say no. I don't want to. I don't want to retire. I want to keep going. And when it, and when they asked for it, and when I was being the actor, it said, "You don't have to keep going." I say no. I gotta keep going from this acting. Or probably. If I keep get in, uh, uh, oh, sorry. If I keep get injured myself for any martial art and stunts, they say, "Yo, you gotta retire." I say, "No, I gotta keep going because for me, I just want to be more brave as a brave person." And even though if I would have hurt myself, I mean, I don't even care because um, I only care about my own body. I just, you know, I just want to keep going. Like, if I want to keep going, then help me. Help me keep going. Because if not, then I fail. I fail my, my family. I fail my friends. Or even fail my loved ones. You know, love my life. I mean, I fail everything. I just wanted to keep going. I want y'all to help me. I want y'all to support me. For anything important for me in my life because it's really important if I would have keep going to my career like it's not about you know you know just to like you know not prove the point it's about keeping going don't let your emotions get you down and um 
Don't let nobody tell you what to do. Not even your negative people or bullies or trolls. They won't tell you what to do because um, that's what they want. They want to win. Uh, you know, the evil wants you to want them to win. Don't let the evil win. You gotta let yourself win. You gotta fight back. You gotta, you like, put your pressure on and, you know, do all that. And somehow I still try and I'm still weak. Because I know I try very hard to join in for the acting, martial art, pro wrestling, anything. I just want to join in because I just want to be brave. And now, if I would have reached more as the, you know, just for, more as from 10 million subscriber like he does. And 7 million. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I would have said, I would, I would say, if I would have keep going, at least for 10 minutes, Scott, I would have kept going as well. Not for my retirement. For me, be more brave. Because, um, I know for a fact that PewDiePie would have keep going, Markiplier, Jess, every guy, or the others that keep going. As to recent 10 minute subscribers, they kind of keep going. It, it, it's okay for not for, for not for y'all to retire, so, yeah. To redo that, I wouldn't have announced my retirement <coughs> at seven million. But that is the next biggest elephant in the room. I told you guys that I had other stuff that I wanted to do with my life. You know, go back to school and um, you know start a family, which I guess like isn't mutually exclusive from making YouTube videos. I, I always just thought it would be super hard to do. And um, oh yeah, shoot, well, I'm. <laughs> clearly complacent as it is where i'm at now so add a family on top of that and and i always thought like nah i'll probably be done by that time it's hard yeah. to do youtube like really do youtube and do like other stuff which is why yeah. like i have a lot of breaks because while i can do youtube and, and do other things um a sharp decline of quality would be ever present in those videos retirement to me is scary because i know that there are some detractors that believe me doing youtube is only because of money money being my biggest motivator for coming back when i do and i don't need money anymore money is zero number zero motivator for me making videos um but i was scared for different reasons I felt that God had given me such a gift of this channel, of this community. <clears throat> Who am I to just put that down and say, eh, I'm done with that. How do you, how do you walk away from a blessing? Because that's what you guys are, 100%, hands down. Even the haters, even the people that talk junk, even everybody um, that has anything negative to say. You all are a blessing. And how could I reconcile walking away from that? I'm a gamer through and through. It just makes sense for me to have this kind of career. So if it's a blessing and I'm good at it and I'm a gamer through and through, what is the cause for retirement? Why is that even something that I considered? What, because... I get tired of doing it sometimes. And this is me, you know, going back and forth with myself. I posited that if it was something that I really love to do, why do I put it down so much? My dad works for Ford. And what his job is, is figuring out solutions to various problems that arise in the plant. And my dad likes that job because he said it challenges his mind. He, It's not, just brainless grunt work where he's pressing a button and a conveyor belt. Sometimes the solutions can be very complex, could take hours to, to fix this one singular problem. Now, 
stretch that out for about 20 years okay and my dad isn't so fond of his job at ford anymore he's just not in a position to put it down whenever he feels like it that's all the difference now clearly i've taken that idea and run with it to the most extreme i mean when you are doing something and then you put it down for nine months for four months three months five months there's something fundamentally wrong and i think i figured out what that is a lack of challenge a lack of mental stimulation beyond what's normal i mean it's evident in all the games that i play what do i do automatically put it on the hardest difficulty never played the game in my life but i needed to be on the hardest difficulty i feel like i'm talking a lot i know what i want to say and what i want to say is that there's no possible way that i can retire and um while i'm sure that's great news to some people it kind of feels like i'm playing with the feelings of other people that's like yo you had us thinking you're gonna retire this whole time and now you're saying that you're not yeah yeah <laughs> you'll be on another break in two months i entertain that thought too i'm like dude you you, you can't just come back and be like ah, i'm not retiring because that's insensitive you had these people thinking since seven million that you were going to do that and so now i'm thinking like no now i have to do it now i'm locked into a choice but you're never locked into anything um except child support you never want to um do something because you feel like you forced into it I want to continue to be a positive influence over the young people that watch me. So something that I was thinking about was making a new channel. And I'm like, you, you really about to do this all over again, Corey? You really about to start from scratch? But I kind of want to. So I'm issuing a challenge to myself so that I can make sure that things stay interesting. Number one, go back to school. Number two, continue doing YouTube while I'm at school. Number three, get another channel up to 10 million subscribers. And number four, get the Corey Kenshin channel to 25 million subscribers. This should keep me extremely busy, but it's very important. It's very important that I just don't plateau, you know, that I don't relax and I, I reach, I got my diamond play button. There's nothing else for me to do, you know, because there's, there's always something to do. You just have to challenge yourself. You just have to think outside the box. You just can't get complacent like I have been these past years. Things we could do with our time if we used it properly. Let's get to the play button. I uh, I did redo my office. Got a couple displays over there, not sponsored, even though they keep asking me to make sponsor videos. Oh, by the way, this is a new Detroit hat because um my other one has some miles on it. Check this one out. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me show you. Can you yeah, see? It? Yeah, see it. I'm not going to hold you. This thing is heavy. My mom always says the heavier it is, the more expensive it is. And I'm inclined to agree with that. You see, because this wasn't expensive in the currency that you might be thinking of. Money. No. This, my people. This was expensive in the most precious form of currency. Time. This took me over 10 years to get and if we're all being honest like i said earlier i don't even feel like i deserve it but god blesses us in ways that we don't understand nor deserve 
So, uh, thank you. So let me get this open here. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, it is a freaking suitcase. Wow. Briefcase. Case. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, all right. Everybody relax. Calm down. <laughs> Susan herself wrote me, CEO of YouTube. I am. Dear Corey Kenshi, at 100,000, we thought, not bad. That's a healthy new channel. At 1 million, we thought, wow, this creator is pretty awesome. Susan, really? You should have came to that conclusion at 50k. But 10 million! At this point, we're actually scratching our heads. How on earth? 10 million subscribers isn't just a lot of people. It's more than the entire population of New York City. The fact is, you're no longer just a great channel. You're a movement. I said... You're no long. I'm getting high, bro. Samurai, stand up! I repeat! Stand up! <laughs> we hope you'll accept this Diamond Creator Award as a token of our appreciation and our respect for what you've accomplished. You amaze us and inspire us every day. Keep it coming. Yours sincerely, Susan Wojcicki. Um, it's been an honor to be able to be on this platform and inspire and um, just create the best content that I can. Um, thank you for having me, truly. With exposition out of the way, Let's see. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. Ah! I gotta see this, man. <laughs> you guys. Oh. Wow. Oh this. Yo, hold on, hold on one second. I can't, I can't just, I can't just be touching this with my bare hands. Are you crazy? Let me get my Swarovski gloves. Yo, yeah, this you're thing right. is, <coughs> this thing is heavy. Wow, that's cool. Wow. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> this is a level in my wildest dreams did I ever think I would did I ever think that I would make it here it is because of you guys praise God man praise God praise God man giving me you guys Oh, they mess around and gave Corey Kenshin a diamond play button. Oh, YouTube, do y'all sell cases for this? I'm just supposed to keep this out so it can get scratched up? We need a case for this. Oh, well, I mean, there's that case, but like a display case. I mean, it sits up nice. You see, they got this padding at the bottom. So you could, like, put it, like, on a mantle. Oh, look at that diamond plate! Put it on, like, a mantle, something like that. But, nah, I, I need, like a, like, a case for this. No matter where you are in life, you might feel like you wasted too much time or that it's too late for you to get wherever you're trying to go, accomplish whatever you're trying to accomplish. And that is the worst thing that you could ever possibly do for yourself. Be your biggest critic and your biggest cheerleader. Believe in yourself, have faith, 
Don't give yourself any limits. Because there are none. Look at me. Washed up YouTuber. <laughs> Use me as an example. Go back to the video where I'm announcing that I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers. And I, I'm at 10 million subscribers. Look at that. And, and see that at that time, at that point in time, I had no idea if I could even reach 10,000. And here, God has put in my lap 10 million of you all. There are no limits. Corey's Kissing once again. Ask to reach 10 million subscribers. And it's so hard for me to reach my goal and it's really hard man I Sorry. It's so really hard for me to reach my goal and having so much pressure and struggle that I work so hard for this YouTube and it and it's so hard. And it feels like whenever I try and try to reach my goal, it just built up and works, and, uh, sorry, it's just that I put a lot of pressure on reaching so many subscribers, and I know a lot of people are going to be saying, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't make it that far. But, I don't think nobody else would have helped me or supported me because they were too afraid that I just can't do it. And... It would be so hard for me that I can do it. And it's okay to say that I can't do it because I know that I wasn't good enough to make it this far to reach your goal. And And I'm telling you, it's never that, it's never that difficult to say that you can't do it, or cannot do it, because you weren't ready. And for me, I wasn't ready at, the, at all, because I know why I would say I did look back and said that if I ever wanted to reach for 10 million subscribers would I retire? No 
would I just go grow old for my career and then retire? No. I just had to keep going. No matter how hard it's okay to keep going even though you're not afraid it's okay cuz I know if I would be afraid I'm afraid that I might might lose because uh, I'm a loser. Say you like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here. Click the bell notification down below. And um.